Well, I'm down in my painting studio and I'm just feeling a little aimless today. I've been super busy with a lot of different things, including my puppy who keeps me very occupied all day long, all night long. And I'm just decided today I would just kind of paint aimlessly. That's the title of this because I have nowhere I'm going with this. I got out a large piece of paper, stapled it to the wall, have this brush that's on a wooden dowel, so it's a lot longer handle. And I just have started putting down some orange marks. And then I'm just going to layer on some paints of different colors and just kind of do you know, a stream of consciousness painting without any plans. So that's my thought, my only thought with this. And part of the reason for doing it is, well, I've wanted to try some layering, which is probably difficult on this paper because it does buckle and it only takes so much water. But that's kind of the thought that's been in my mind that I want to do personally some layering, thin layers, thick layers, thin lines, go over it with thicker paint. Um, so I'm just decided that I'm going to practice some of that on paper and maybe there'll just be a little portion that turns out and it just doesn't turn turn out in the rest of it. So. It's kind of, you know, art wandering, which I think you really have to do. I don't think you always have to know where you're going, always know what you're doing, always have a plan for some kind of a finished painting. Sometimes you're just wandering around, looking for things, trying things out, experimenting, seeing what might happen. Do you like something? Do you not like something? You know, that's the only way really that you can discover things is to do this. And the other thing that helps me with this is I have been doing some paintings that I've liked on some canvases where I've cut the canvas the old paintings off and I've restretched some canvas and I've done some paintings on them that I've really liked. They are smaller. I would like to do some larger paintings next. Though this kind of gets me in the mood for that when I loosen up on paper, you know, just kind of let things go, see what will happen, it kind of gets me in the mood to do something larger instead of just getting out that larger canvas and going for it right away. It's really good to practice and get kind of mentally ready for it. Um, so that's what I'm doing here in this video and decided I would film it because I've made a lot of different painting videos for Patreon and this is what I'm doing right now so I thought I would share this with you. Some of the things that I've used in this video has been up my ink, my favorite ink, which is the a brown ink that you saw me put down. It's antelope brown F and W. I really like that ink a lot. Um, there are a lot of other colors besides that, but that's the one I seem to use quite a bit. Just some orange paint. Um, Lucas Krill is what it is, so it's a less expensive paint, and it's pretty thin, so I don't really have to water it down very much. I put in some mark making with the Stabilo pencil, and, and um, I put in some blue water-based graphite, and I'm just trying to use a variety of 
materials, different brushes. I've got a, a foam brush that I'm using to put some paint down. And I've put some paint down with a roller that has a texture. And I'm scraping into things with my um, color shaper. So I'm doing things like that, and I'm going to let this dry, and maybe I'll come back and do some other things to it. It's just kind of an exploratory thing that I just decided to do, and I may just end up throwing it away, or maybe I'll cut it up and find little portions that I really like and save those for inspiration. So it's just, like I said in the beginning, wandering around creatively, painting aimlessly. So I think it's good to do. And I encourage you to take some time and paint aimlessly with no thought in mind. And just maybe the thought is you're going to do that and then you're going to throw it away because it's not precious. It's a you know, it's a, a process of discovery. It's like you're on an ar archaeological dig and you're looking for something, but you're not really sure what it is. So, and you don't have to know exactly what it is. So, that's the wonder of abstract. So you may wonder, am I teaching you anything through this video? Um, maybe not directly. I'm not telling you how to do something. I'm just kind of, you know, recommending that you do this kind of thing, that you take some time each week to play, to experiment, to just practice mark making, with pastels that you practice brush strokes and layering and just kind of exploring what you can do with no thought that you're going to create something that's going to be framed or that you're going to try to sell, but that you are just using it as an experience to explore different things and when you do this on a piece of paper the way that i have done here on the wall in my studio then you know it's really um not very risky you can do whatever you want to do it's on paper and it's not on a stretched canvas and it's not on an expensive piece of paper. So you can practice, and it's a great way to warm up, to loosen up, to get yourself ready to maybe do something that is on a stretch canvas. I just really like to do something like this. It's very helpful, so how could you go about doing this if you don't have a big studio wall like I now have which I didn't have until the spring is when I got this studio um, you can take a board 
and you can put a big piece of paper on a board and you can put that on your easel. You could take several pieces of paper and attach them together with tape and just do the same thing. I have done this before I had this studio in my small space at home with on an easel. So, and sometimes I use the wall in the room that I um, was using before at home. So, um, you know, you can find ways you can do this on a table. Um, it's just, you're just playing around. You're ex expressing, you're following kind of an intuition or an impulse. When something pops into your head like, I think I'll make some red lines make some red lines. When it pops into your head that maybe you want to scrape through something, maybe you want to cover something up, maybe you want to get out a roller that has some texture, you know, follow all of those impulses that you have to see what will happen and just have fun with it. That is the lesson, I guess, if I'm teaching anything through this that's what it is because I've done this so many times and I think that a lot of times through those periods of experimentation and just throwing anything in there that's when you discover things that's when you find what works for you so take some time to do this and then throw it away when you're finished if that's what you want to do. But I think it's a valuable thing to get in the habit of doing.